Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. Time for another guide looking at popular modelling products. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. SKP model you may not know about, but it's a specialist aftermarket model manufacturer, but they're unique in that they also make plastic model kits. SKP model is based in Europe, in the Czech Republic, and we've been very lucky to receive all these samples for review. You can get SKP's output from Hysterex agents. What we've received today is a cross-section of all the different sorts of products they make. First off, we've got figures over here. They make all sorts of resin figures in 1 35th scale, and we've been sent three references here. SKP-167, Winston Churchill, O-58, an RAF pilot, and 101. It looks a little bit like the Queen. They release aftermarket upgrade sets, and here we've got two. SKP-241, which are wheels for the Bronco Jeep, and similar thing, Firestone-type wheels for Jeeps. One of their most innovative products are their photo etch and brass helmets. We've got a couple of references, SKP-026, their US helmets, and SKP-028, their British helmets. Both are World War II and both are 135th scale. These are very handy. We've actually used these on our SU-100 build recently. They are tow cables made out of genuine copper wire with resin towing eyes. SKP-036 tow cables for T-34. And that one's SKP-045, tow cables for Tiger and Yag Tiger. Here's another one of their really unique products and an excellent idea. It's their headlights and tail lights made for your scale models to upgrade the plastic. And we've got SKP-136 for the Merkava. We've got for the Humvee, SKP-122. And for the Challenger 2, SKP-159. Here's an example of their resin kits. It's a complete resin model kit. Fantastic idea and a great subject for a model. Plenty of weathering potential there for a Zetor 25. 135th scale, sold under reference SKP-150. In addition to their resin kits, they also make plastic kits. And we've been sent the Cromwell Mark IV-F. It also has resin parts, and we'll show you that later. So let's get started. Here are the resin figures. Let's take a look at them. The female mechanic, which is actually, if you look at the catalogue, it's actually supposed to be Princess Elizabeth when she was a mechanic in World War II. There's absolutely no air bubbles at all. This is extremely well molded. And the facial features are a great likeness for the princess. Here's SKP-058, the squadron leader. Again, superbly cast, a natural and relaxed pose. The detail of the life jacket is really well rendered. You can see that you get a hand with a mug and the face is superb with a moustache. And here's SKP-167 Winston Churchill, a great character for a figure, in his overcoat, and there you can see the face. So hopefully by seeing this you can see the quality. We're certainly very impressed. Often tyre treads and wheels are an area of weakness in models, so there are plenty of aftermarket solutions and this is one of them. There's the Firestone version. And here we can see the road wheels, perfect for a sort of uh, Arnhem style Jeep. Great tread detail. And there you can see just how well cast these aftermarket wheels are. You get five in each of these sets. Here are the helmets, and we've opened one of them, SKP-028, the British helmets. And here they are you can appreciate the level of skill and detail in stamping these out. The beauty is, of course, they're hollow like the real thing, so on your model you can leave them inverted. And it's got the dimple and the shape that you'd expect of the British World War II helmet. Here's the photo etch fret. There's no instructions, but it's clearly numbered. 
in how you apply everything. So it's a case of cutting these items out and soldering them or super gluing them inside the helmet. And here's the finished result. Here are the tow cables. You get two lengths of copper wire that's been very realistically wrapped and twisted like a steel hawser would be. And there are the resin towing eyes. And here you can see the finished result once it's been painted and weathered. Very effective. When it comes to their extremely useful and very realistic lenses and tail lights, we've just opened one of them, the Humvee set. So you get a really good idea of what's involved. As you can see, these sets combine the benefits of photo etch for your reflector casings and mounts. And then on top is a sort of crystallized and colorized resin coating. And it gives a very impressive and in scale rendition of reflective lights and optics. Here's the ZTOR 25 tractor in army service. When it comes to making resin kits, one of the most important things is that they're good detailed instructions. So it's great to see a fairly extensive and colour instruction booklet with two colour schemes for your tractor. Very well done CAD type drawings that will help you construct. And inside, very well bagged, are the components. You also get a photo etch sheet and some of their legendary headlights. There's also some excellently produced decals and even some acetate type markings for the dials. The tyres are immaculately made. Here you can see the engine block. Smaller items are very well produced. They all seem to be well cast, intricately made. So no problems there with the moulding at all. So this should build up into a great kit. It's just a case of cutting all these items away, cleaning them up, and then construction can begin with an adhesive-like superglue. Next up, we'll look at our final item, the Cromwell. It is a plastic kit, so you get plenty of plastic sprues, and here they are, five main plastic sprues. And you might think this is going to be a sort of limited run or a quick run model, but actually the moulding looks excellent. If you look at the detail around the gun ports, it's really well produced. And there's the F-type hull. You get individual track links. There's no obvious ejector pin marks. And what you see is this is really a multimedia kit because you also get resin parts as well. They're characteristically well moulded and you get some ammo boxes as well as all the finer details. All very cleanly cast. You can see periscopes there as well. There's an aluminium barrel, there's photo etch parts, decals, there's fine detail in them and good colour rendition. Of course you get the SKP headlights and tail lights, a great touch. And as well as we saw earlier, another one of their strengths, some tow cables in copper wire as well. So it's a very complete offering. Here you get a colour glossy printed booklet. It's a very impressive instruction book, every bit as good as you'd expect from the bigger manufacturers in Asia like Dragon or Tamiya. All in all you get one, two, three, four different colour schemes. That completes today's set of reviews. Plenty to get your teeth into. Thanks for watching and bye. There's more videos on the website and you can check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. Bye for now.